welcome back today we are going to see next we are going to see the articulatory system the articulatory system though is the last part of the system is the more most important system as it is responsible for producing clear speech sounds though in the last two classes these are how the lungs receives the air outside gives it to alveoli converts the air into oxygen sends it to brain and the brain gives command to the lungs to pump the air out the lungs pump the air out and the phonatory system gets activated the vocal cord either remains closed or opened or partly closed or partly open so when the vocal cords remain open we get voiceless sounds when it is partly closed and partly open we get voiced sound now when the sound comes out of the vocal cord the articulatory system takes its role okay let us see how the articulatory system consists of teeth ridge hard palate soft palate and vulva what is all these things let's see the picture see when the sound passes the vocal cord it comes here that is vulva and there is a hard palate and there is a soft palate teeth teeth ridges alveolar ridges teeth ridges teeth alveolar ridges teeth ridge and the hard palate soft palate and vulva so vulva is the last part from here it is the first one then we have a soft palate which is also called vellum and there is a hard palate and there is alveolar ridge the three teeth ridge and the teeth all these parts include the articulators so the speech sound which comes out of the vocal cord depends on these organs to producing in producing a clear speech sound when vulva soft palate hard palate and teeth and teeth ridges and mouth functions properly we get a proper sound okay let us look let's look how we get the speech sound so the articulatory system consists of teeth ridge hard palate soft palate and vulva the roof of the teeth is the upper front teeth the teeth roof is the upper front teeth it is convex in shape it is called alveolar ridge okay let's see what is alveolar ridge so this is the alveolar ridge which is the upper part of the teeth so here is the our mouth and the upper part of the front upper part that is front upper part of our mouth is called alveolar ridge we call it alveolar ridge so immediately after the teeth ridge are, are the alveolar ridge there is a hard bony part called hard palate it is concave in shape let me look what is this one okay see that is here is the alveolar ridge and immediately after the alveolar ridge we we come across the hard palate see hard plate or palate alveolar ridge and next to alveolar ridge is the hard palate and it is a concave shape fine now the roof of the mouth next to the hard palate becomes soft and fleshy and we call it soft palate it is called so called vellum let's look it now see this is the alveolar ridge and next to the alveolar ridge is the hard palate and next to the hard palate is a soft fleshy structure called soft palate vellum soft palate it is very soft and the third part section comes to an end next after the vellum a fleshy structure hangs loosely it is called vulva so if you see look into the mirror you can see here a fleshy structure which hangs 
it's it acts like a filter the voice which comes after the vocal cord is filtered by vulva here yeah. okay and it sends either through the nose or through the mouth okay it gets the sound gets transferred to the mouth or to the uh, to the mouth or to the nose so vulva acts as a filter um for the sound speech sounds the swat palates divides the sounds into oral sound nasal sound and nasalized sound what is this very simple okay listen as i said earlier the sound which sound received by the lungs is again sent to phonatory system and the phonatory system sends the sound through the vocal cord and it travels here and at this point the vulva or the soft palate decides either to send the sound through the nose or through the mouth it depends only the soft palate decides it acts as a filter vulva acts as a filter and the soft palate decide the soft the soft uh, flesh like fleshy structure decides whether to send the sound through the nose or through the mouth if the sound wants wants to get out of the mouth it gets closed the nose get closed if it want to send the sound to the nose it, the mouth get closed let us see what happens so the soft palate divides the sound into oral sound nasal sound and nasalized sound what is this nasal sound we will see it later okay oral sound is what is oral sound what is nasal sound and what is nasalized sounds now oral sound the back part of the roof of the mouth is called soft palate which we have seen earlier the soft palate acts like a valve so you have seen in the buildings there is a valve which when we open the water gets to the right when we close it gets to left similarly it acts like a valve the air passes through it if the soft palate is raised the nose passage is blocked okay let me see let me explain with this picture when this is a soft palate when it rises it gets blocked the nose passage gets blocked and what happens the air escapes through the mouth simple so when the nose when it when the sound comes here and the, when it rises and stops the air passes through the mouth and we call this sound as oral sound such speech sounds are called oral sounds peel bag date most of the sounds are oral comes out of the mouth okay oral sounds are also called velic closure okay fine now coming to nasal sound if the soft palate is lowered the air passage moves through the nose okay let me explain with this example suppose if the soft palate instead of rising up it if it closed down it comes down what happens is the mouth passage gets blocked and the air escapes through this nose then we call it as nasal sounds the mouth passage is blocked the speech sound produced during this time are called nasal sound some sun sung ing sound okay all these are nasal sounds the nasal sounds are velic openings okay next one what is this nasalized sound see now let me explain see if this soft palate closes the nose passage the air passes to the mouth we call it oral sound if it closes the mouth passage the sound escapes through the nose we call it nasal sound then what is nasalized sound let me see sometimes the soft palate is lowered but it does not block the mouth passage during this time the air is from the lung passes both through the nose and the mouth such speech sounds are called nasalized sound very few sounds are there and in the french word bon which means good bon okay bon bon voyage okay bon voyage okay now listen some sounds that are bon some sound for some sound this soft palate neither closes the nose nor the mouth passage it remains just like this in the, as shown in the picture so 
what happens is the sound which travels from vocal cord travels both in the mouth through the mouth and through the nose chach sounds are called nasalized sounds okay now what is the function of heart palate in the middle part of the roof of the mouth is the hard and bony part which is called the heart palate which is called heart palate it is rare okay we call it is heart palate this is called heart palate the very few sound which produces with the help of this heart palate let me which we will see it in the later classes the heart palate now let's see this for mind map now articulatory system see that is teeth ridge heart palate soft palate and vulva these are four parts involved in articulatory system the soft palate converts the sound into oral sound nasal sound and nasalized sound when the <clears throat> when the mouth passage is blocked we get oral sound when the mouth passage when the nose passage is blocked we get the oral sound when both are open we get nasalized sounds so very simple thank you for watching the video stay tuned for the next video